Welcome to CT Small Business Toolkit, where small business innovators and influencers share the advice that will help you turn your idea into a business and your business into a success. Let's get started. Our guest this week on CT Small Business Toolkit is Natalie McNeil, accomplished entrepreneur and founder of SheTakesOnTheWorld.com, one of the leading websites worldwide uh, focusing on female entrepreneurship. Natalie is the author of the brand new book, The Conquer Kit, a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs. And Natalie, it's great to have you back. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. You say in in a little uh, bit towards the end of this book that you were born to conquer. Is that true of every entrepreneur? Is that true of everyone? What do you mean by that? I believe that we all have a unique purpose and mission on this planet and that it is your responsibility to share your gifts and your talents with the world. So yes, I believe everybody was born to conquer. Everybody has something that they can contribute that helps the world to to evolve and to change and for the better. How do you define conquer? Is it uh, becoming the best that you can be? Is it becoming the best in your part of the the economy? How do you define conquer? I'm glad that you asked me that because a lot of people have been saying, well, conquering can have negative connotation because, you know, long ago and in history, conquering meant taking things that didn't belong from you and gaining from someone else's loss and, you know, fighting a war or ruling an empire. And for me, conquering means recognizing the unique purpose that you have on this planet and earning a living at it. It means shining a light on what's important to you and ultimately, and probably most importantly, leading by example. So it's having the courage to follow your dreams and recognizing that as you walk that path, you also light the way for others and inspire other people in your life to do the same. Natalie, as you wrote this book, did you have the existing entrepreneur who might need a little more focus and direction, or is it for the aspiring entrepreneur who is wondering whether or not it's the right thing to do at all? It is for both. The Conquer Kit is the system and plan that I've used in my own business since around 2010. So I've used this for the last five, six years, and it has become my system and my process. I create a new one every 12 months. So at the beginning of a new year, I usually will create another one or at least revisit it. So this is something that an existing business owner can use. And it's something that if you're just starting your business and you can create this plan from day one and follow these steps, this is going to be something that saves you so much time and so much money. It's what I wish I had when I was starting my first business. The book is The Conquer Kit, and there's eight critical steps here. We'll have time to talk about a few of these. Number one is get in the flow, which, Natalie, seems to be a a, a very detailed effort to take inventory, understanding where you are and obviously where you want to go. What's the most important thing about getting yourself headed in the right direction? Fulfilling and meaningful success really comes from within. So my whole brand is she takes on the world, (laughs) but I really believe that to take on the world first, you need to start with taking on your own inner world and you need to look at why you want to do what you want to do. It has to be about so much more than just the money. It has to be about the mission and the passion behind those goals to really bring that bigger vision into the world. That leads us right to step four, Natalie, which is get your mind on your money. Obviously, it takes a lot more than just understanding finances to be ready to start and build a business. You got to understand a lot about how the business works. You got to have a passion for what you're doing, of course. But as you point out at the beginning of this chapter, a lot of people find it uncomfortable to focus on money or think about how exactly they're going to uh, keep track of things and stay on top of it. So what are some of the biggest takeaways there? Some of the most successful people that I know have a lot of very strong rituals and habits around money. They've cultivated this very positive relationship with their money, and I think that makes room for a lot more success and abundance to flow into your life. So one of the things that I like to do is always keep my bills and my bank statements organized as they come in. I don't like them to get cluttered or end up in a big pile because it's not how I want to start my day by looking at that pile of bills and statements on my desk. And I think 
ignoring things like that are when you start to develop a more negative relationship with your money. And then I think it comes down to actually understanding things like balance sheets and profit and loss accounts in your business. And I work with a lot of creatives who just don't create those statements on a monthly basis or don't get somebody else to create them for them because they actually don't know how to read them anyway. And so I walk entrepreneurs through those statements in the book in a very easy to understand way because look, if you understand how to read those statements and you're reading them on a monthly basis, they are helping you to make more empowered decisions as an entrepreneur. We're talking with Natalie McNeil. The book is The Conquer Kid. And Natalie, time for for one more. And the very next step is step five, sell your soul, which sounds a little more uh, (laughs) diabolical than it really is. Uh, It says, a.k.a. heart-centric marketing. I think the quote at the beginning of this sums it up pretty well. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And basically, the idea of heart-centric marketing, obviously, is people understand the passion behind it, how much you are personally invested in this. And then you also go on to talk about how turning your customer's experience into personal marketing can be very, very effective along the way, too. So how do you convey authenticity? A lot of people find sales and marketing so soul-sucking, and that's why I call this section Sell Your Soul. I want people selling from their heart and soul. Marketing is nothing other than sharing the story behind your brand and telling your customers about your products and why they would like them. And you can do that without all of the icky, sleazy tactics that we sometimes see in sales. And I think my greatest success in being able to sell is actually focusing on giving first. So I used to hate sales and marketing. I hated asking for the sale, for the meeting, for somebody to share my work. And what I started doing was being very useful and valuable to other people and giving a lot before actually asking. And that has gone very well for me. And I have given a lot to influential people and they have given a lot back to me. And you don't do it from a place of expecting something in return, but rather just trying to be very useful. And the other part of this is really using your customers as your storytellers too. It's not just about you telling your own story, but going out there and having your customers do it for you. This is one of the most effective sales tools that you have, these satisfied clients. So you should definitely send your clients a feedback form when you're done working with them and ask them for the specifics of the results that they got so that you can have these testimonials ready to go. And letting other people tell your story is even more powerful than you being out there sharing your own message and your story with the world. Natalie, where can folks get The Conquer Kit? You can get a free 25-page excerpt over at theconquerkit.com, and we also link up to all of our retail partners there. And it's also available everywhere books are sold. And again, the book is The Conquer Kit, a creative business planner for women entrepreneurs by Natalie McNeil, the creator of SheTakesOnTheWorld.com. Natalie, great conversation. Thanks for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Greg Columbus reporting for CT Small Business Toolkit. Thanks for joining us on CT Small Business Toolkit. Be sure to visit our website, ct.walterskluwer.com, and follow at CT Corporation on Twitter. We'll see you next time on CT Small Business Toolkit.